Alright, welcome back to the next part of the show, and now I'm here at the exercise number 3, still. Um, at the previous part, uh, I have explained to you the uh, vocabulary and the meaning of those words highlighted as colored in purple. So now, we will start listening and put those words into the correct blanks from the sentences from 1 to 10 upon us. Alright, so now, let's start listening. Alright, let's begin. Including me, maybe. Four. I know this. It's really famous, isn't it? Yes, it's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Five. What do you think of this track? It's okay. Some of the lyrics are really clever, but it's not my kind of music. Six. It's time for the big drum solo. Let's go and get something to eat. Good idea. I have no idea. I can't hear the melody. Eight. Give me your heart before you leave me. He's got a yeah. good voice, hasn't he? His voice is okay, yes, but I'm sure he's playing the wrong chords. Nine. not all right so we have finished listening to those 10 sentences in 10 uh 10 different occasions ones in uh opera house ones outside ones at a uh a musical performance ones at a uh, dancing street or maybe something like that and ones Ask people to be joined in very uh, nasty songs. All right, so we will now maybe th be because this is uh, an easy exercise, or maybe so I will now play it again and pause to the answer, and you will know the answer that needs to be filled in. All right, so now let's begin again with the sentence number one. Alright, so let's start. This is my favorite aria. Ah, uh, she said that that was her favorite aria. So aria is the word that needs to be filled in. Aria. Alright. Aria. Alright, I have explained to you. Uh-uh. Aria. 
That's a word. That was just the end of a first movement. So movement is the word. Movement. Three. Three. Isn't this amazing? Yes, it is. A hundred voices all singing in harmony. All singing in harmony. Harmony is a word. Four. I know this. It's really famous, isn't it? Yes, it's Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Fifth Symphony. All right, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. All right, all right. Getting it easier, easier, boys. Number five. My kind of music. All right, maybe we have missed. What do you think of this track? It's okay. Some of the lyrics are really clever, but it's not my kind of music. All right, clever lyrics. All right, some of the lyrics are clever. Lyrics. Just put your hands up. Is that clever? Is this a drum walk? It's time for the big drum solo. A big drum solo. All right, solo is the word we need to fill in. A salute. Number seven. Quick. What's this tune? I've no idea. I can't hear the melody. All right, so strong. What's this tune? I've no idea. I can't hear the melody. Seven. All right, seven. Melody isn't a strong melody. All right, because jazz, more than jazz, more more than jazz, no strong melody. Number eight. Be quick! Before you leave me. He's got a good voice, hasn't he? His voice is okay, yes, but I'm sure he's playing the wrong chords. Wrong chords. Number one, number nine. Nine. No, not really. Doesn't this beat make you want to dance? Doesn't that beat make him want to dance? Make heavy beats that make makes people want to dance, do they? Oh, no, no. Really. All right, answer. He answered correctly. That's what I wanted to say. Join in. I'd like it. This next one is called Young Maiden is So Fair. If you know the chorus, please join in. If you know the chorus, please join in. Like in the normal uh, concert or something like that. I don't know. Alright, so uh, that probably we have finished our tonight's lesson of our show. And maybe we'll leave uh, the part of the exercise of a five to tomorrow's lesson of our show. And okay, so that is all. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to review 10 8 tonight and prepare for next lesson on tomorrow. All right, 7:30 Facebook page and YouTube channel. Goodbye and good night. All right, so maybe just dance first. Then tomorrow with another special part.